Hi, hello, welcome back, and welcome to November Empties and Declutters. It is that time. I did not wait multiple months to do this again. I would like to get all of this out of here and start the new year fresh. So I also did a very, very, very big declutter that wasn't really part of this. It was like a, I was very overwhelmed one day and was like, I'm just gonna start getting rid of things. And I did, I have a very big bag of that stuff and I'm gonna do a different video for that. Um, and this was literally just what the month of no November yielded in terms of empties and like a couple of declutters that I feel like are different from that overwhelming sense that I had to declutter, if that makes sense. So I got a coffee, I made a snickerdoodle coffee for this. I'm sufficiently caffeinated and ready to go and talk about it. Again, as per usual, just going to be pulling from the bag and talking about them as they come. But I am pulling the declutters out because those are different. So, first off, um, mascaras. Um, I think I have another mascara in here too. Actually, okay, yes. So these two, uh, I, I consider them empty slash declutter only because I try not to care, hold on to my mascaras for too long. So about three months. So I've had these for about three-ish months. And to me, that's as good as they're going to get. They're only going to get worse and or give me dermatitis or an eye infection. I'm, the one thing that I try to be very, very stringent about is only holding on to mascaras for three months. So three months is up, it's out. They're empty in my mind. And I do use them all the time. I do feel like they were close to being empty whether or not they are being decluttered, if that makes sense, because they get used so regularly. The exception to that is this Pillow Talk push-up lashes, which I really did like. I thought it made my lashes look wonderful, but I'm allergic to it or something because my eyes burned when I wore it, would make my eyes run and then swell. So I wore this all of three times. Um, the first time I don't think, I mean, I saw the reaction, I saw it happen, but I didn't know if it was because of this or something else. And then I used it two more times and noticed the trend. So I was like, okay, so this is just being decluttered because my eyes do not like it. Uh, I used up a hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary. I do like it. I don't find that I really need a hyaluronic acid, so I'm not like running to replace this. I also have another hyaluronic acid that I'm using, but I don't know. I Maybe I should be using it more, but I don't feel a difference when I do use it and when I don't use it. So to me, it's not a, an, an immediate repurchase. Very nice though. I do like it. I used up a Pharmacy Glean Clean <laughs> a pharmacy green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm. Easy and Um, This one was nice. I'm never super blown away by cleansing balms in general. As long as they take 95% of my makeup off, I like it. I probably would not repurchase this because I think drugstore ones do just as good without the price tag. So this was a mini and I still think it was $24. And I think a lot of the cleansing balms that I buy are under 20 so there's no need to repurchase something at this price point when cheaper ones do just as good of a job another one that i um finished i finished a lot of cleansing balms because this is basically right after halloween right i used a lot of uh cleansing balms for halloween and this is the cerave makeup removing cleansing balm um, it's new this is one of their newer products and I actually really liked this because I liked the way it felt when it like emulsified. So you start with your cleansing balm just on dry skin. And then I like to rinse my hands and then with my wet hands, continue to clean and emulsify it. And I just like the way it felt. Does not mean that it does a better job than anything else. I just liked the feeling of it. All of the other ones just feel like they turn like milky and, and soapy-ish, I don't know. This one just had a really good feel to it. Um, and it was drugstore. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I would absolutely repurchase this. 
It was very, very good cleansing balm. I used, I finished up a Wet n Wild primer serum, hydrating primer serum. I really liked this. I liked it. It was very nice to add to other, um, other primers that weren't necessarily hydrating primers for that extra little oomph. And I remember I used this almost exclusively with the Giorgio Armani hydrating silk primer or whatever. I actually did not find it to be very hydrating and it needed an oomph and this was the oomph that it needed. So I've actually had this probably in my collection longer than I should have and I'm happy that it is now empty. Um, another skincare, Alpha Arbutin by The Ordinary. I also really like this. I have already repurchased it. I finished this probably mid-November. <clears throat> Parched. I finished this probably mid-November and I actually use this with lactic acid. I mix the two, make a little cocktail in my hand and then apply it. They go really good together. Alpha Arbutin is really good for um, evening out your skin tone and helping with hyperpigmentation and scarring, I believe. Do not quote me. Um, and I would use this at night. And it had hyaluronic acid in it. That's also why I'm not like rushing to repurchase hyaluronic acid uh, as a serum or anything because it's in absolutely everything. So I, I just don't feel like I'm missing it, you know? This, however, really, really liked. Um, I used it, use it probably two or three times a week depending on when I like use a um, chemical exfoliant. So I'll, I'll do like um, glycolic acid, um, the, the pad things I have, and then these the lactic acid and this mixed together. So I don't try not to overdo it, but I use it in conjunction with things. So um, NYX Bear With Me Hydrating Primer, loved this stuff. Um, I had this stuff for almost a year. I remember buying this in California when I was there in January or December and January. So uh, 11 months, took me 11 months to use this, <laughs> 11 and a half. So loved it, absolutely would repurchase it. I have a ton of primers right now, no need for me to repurchase it, but would a solid would repurchase. This was very, 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 very nice. Uh, the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I don't normally use loose powders much anymore. So I think I, I would not repurchase. I, I actually have other loose powders that I'm still trying to work my way through. So don't need to repurchase, but also probably would not because I just think pressed powder works better for me now. In my mature skin, whatever, for whatever reason, it didn't matter what loose powder it was. If I used it, no matter how sparingly, and maybe it was just like, a time. Maybe my skin was just being weird, but everything just looked really heavy and cakey on me. So I have since used loose setting powders occasionally and it doesn't have the same result of that cakey and heaviness, but I still prefer pressed powders to set my stuff. Kristen S's Soft, Soft Shine Beach Wave Spray would repurchase. It's a very good drugstore um, price point for a texture spray, beach wave spray. Currently, I am almost done with this Surfer Girl Sexy Hair Texture Spray, and I think they're equal. I like I like them both. This one's more expensive. This one's cheaper. I'm apt to repurchase this one before this one, just because of price right now. But I did I do really like it. I don't think it's like I don't think I'm sacrificing any aspect of quality just because it's a little bit cheaper than the sexy hair one. I'm just trying to be frugal right now in general. So <clears throat> not as many as I thought. Um, I am calling these ones finished. This is the, well, I guess we're, we're moving into the declutter zone. So this is a good bridge between them. The Milani Think Tank Eyeliner and extra tinted edge liner from Neogen. Both of these are good. I did like them. I just felt like this one dried out really fast and was not nearly as pigmented as the Epic Ink Liner. 
so I found it kind of finicky trying to build it build up the color and the pigment it was just very streaky for me so time to go I bought that in I think June or July so it's it's had had its moment and I got this in Octoly or Skeepers whatever they're calling it now I don't remember when but also just feel like it's dried out not as easy to use it used to be very easy to use I liked this eyeliner a lot it has like a really kind of unique tip and like it's that flat side and then a fat side and very easy to use I really did like it it just is old time to go I decluttered this I wore it one day and I was like I don't like it I don't like it I didn't like the color I didn't like the way it felt don't need it this hence not much longer to go and it is the matte lip liner in my soul and it's a brown but it's not pigmented at all like now it looks nice but when I was trying to lighten my lips it just no color was coming out it didn't matter how much I sharpened it it just wasn't working for me he's gone this OPI nail lacquer in Lisbon wants more OPI that's what it's called very streaky I have to put a lot of coats on for it to look nice and I don't like it I actually feel like I tried to declutter this previously and so I don't know why it was still in my bag but I either that or I just have a lot of problems with this shade like kind of pinky white it's a hard color to get done or to do right and maybe I've just decluttered something else similar to it but I remember saying almost the exact thing. It takes too long to build up. It's very streaky. It's not opaque enough. And I don't like it. So, And then my final two declutters are these two products that I have been working on for a very, very, very long time. This Milani one is basically done. I could probably repress it and use it that way. This is the Silky Matte Bronzing Powder in 01 Sunlight. Um it's like just around the edges that has product and this is the ColourPop pressed powder cheek in tulip to quit and again I could repress it and probably get more use out of it but I'm not exaggerating the only bronzer that I have minus the one that I've repurchased because of this being basically done only bronzer that I use use it every single day not the only blush I use but I have prioritized this over every other blush that I have and I use this almost every day truly for the past year for the past year I have been working on this blush and that bronzer and I'm just tired of it I just I don't want to use it anymore I have shades that are similar I want to say my cover effects warm honey uh, blush similar in color uh, that actually might be the closest one so it's just like that one has better payoff at this point anyway so I'm just tired of using them. I'm just done. I'm just tired. I could finish them. I could pan them completely or I could just move on to newer products and put something new in the rotation because as long as they're in my collection, I will continue to use them and prioritize them until they're finished. And I just, I have too much to do that at this point. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it does to me. I would rather just get use out of other things, but so these are, are gone, all gone. Call them decluttered and that's everything that's my whole bag i was so close to finishing a moisturizer and my like essence serum thing from cosrx so close those will definitely be done by the end of the month um if it even makes it to the end of the month but those will be in january's but uh that is all the empties and declutters that i had for the month of november moving into december so i hope you had a fruitful month in finishing products and decluttering and letting things go. Did you see anything that you liked in mine? Curious about more um, hot takes on them or suggestions for replacing them if I need to? Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one.